Hi folks, I'm going to make some tire chains and I'm going to show everybody how I go about doing that. So here's the tire that I'm making a chain for. Now of course all tires are different sizes and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a happy place where I want the chain to rest down the sidewalls. And what I mean by sidewalls is down in this portion here. So I'm going to pick about this area right here. So the chain on the outside that's going to hold it on on this side and the back side will ride right around this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure basically straight across from that line to that line. I got about 25 inches. So I'm going to make a template circle 25 inches so I can basically measure out my chain. And that's the way I go about measuring out my chain and how I do it. And the next step, what I'm going to need to do is from the point where the chain will be on this part here and on the other side, I need to me measure from here across the tire tread down to the back side. And it's really easy to do that. You don't really have to go to the back side. So I'm going to measure up here. You can see it's about three inches. I'm going to measure across the tire. nine inches and three inches down the other side so not nine times six is 15 inches so i'm going to need 15 inch pieces that are going to go across this way across the tire to get my tread now how many well that's up to basically whoever wants to make themselves a tire chain in my case i'm going to put them roughly every six inches apart no about eight inches apart you know, so I have one about here, and another one about here, and so on, and so on, and so on. So then I'll have to figure out how many pieces I'm going to need to cut to have that support all the way around the tire. So I'm going to go in the house now and make that template and get my chain cut out, and then I'll be back with you. So here I have the template. There's the marker line. That's my 25 inch circle. I counted how many pieces of small pieces of chain I was going to need. These pieces here. 11 pieces, 15 inches long. But remember, I have to take into consideration the joining up here. So I removed, I measured the lengths and two lengths was three inches. So I need them pieces to be 12 inches long and then when I link them up join them to here that'll give me my 15 inches so what I did you can see here I cut a bunch of links off of a chain and I opened them up like that you see and that's basically how they're gonna get joined now I have to go along you see, I'll put it there, and I'll put this one on there. Then I'll bend that back in place. And I'll give it a little weld. Being that these are galvanized, these particular links, I'm going to have to grind that galvanized off before I'll be able to give it a little weld back together to hold them nice and secure. So being that I need 11 pieces, that's 22 of these I need. And keep in mind that the circumference, that 25 inch, you also need to leave a little bit of room for whatever is going to be used to link these two together. That's why you see here this gap. I gave myself room. To add the coupler between there so you have all these spaced out they're not joined together I will do that now it's important to make sure you get the links counted out and each one is spaced accordingly and then on the, on the other side same idea make sure you count the same amount of links link it together same amount of links link it together same amount of links link it together 
and you proceed all the way up until the other side. Now I'll go ahead and join all these together and I'll come back and I'll show it. I'll bend these back straight. Then all I have left to do is weld, which I won't show you that. You'll get the idea of what needs to happen. And that will be a tire chain. And then the joining up of this portion here, well I don't have anything yet to join that up. So I won't be able to show you that part. You have to use your imagination on what you would want to use for yourself to join that up on each side of the tire, which would be this end and that end joining the other end to this end and the same with this one, the other end to this end. And the rest of this, of course, goes over top of your tread. All right, so I'll do all this joinings together and I'll come back and I'll give you a, a look at how it looks. All right, folks, I have it all attached. So what I need yet to do is pick up some coupler ends to join this end along with that end over there together. And then once I have them, I can actually put it on top of the tire and around the tire and use it as a tire chain to help myself on the slippery conditions and ice and stuff like that. It's for my plow truck to get extra grip while I'm pushing snow or moving banks of snow. So that's what I'm making these for. And cost is pretty decent. Basically, I made all four for four tires for the price that one would cost to buy. So if you want to save yourself some money, spend a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, just pick yourself up some chain, make your measurements, and go about it. Basically similar to this. But of course you can attach these here they have all kinds of things on the market you can attach these to make it a lot easier for yourself i went the cheapest route just by using the length of the chain itself bending it and give it a tack weld but there's many ways this could be approached well thank you for watching subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that already have